Hello, everyone. My name is Omar Awan. I'm a professor and associate vice chair of education at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. I want to talk today about monkeypox because there's so much in the news about monkeypox. Uh, it's been declared a global health emergency. So I want to simplify monkeypox for all of you guys out there who want to learn a little bit about the virus. So what is monkeypox? What do we mean when we say monkeypox? It's actually a virus. It's caused by a virus similar to smallpox. So it's in the same family as the smallpox virus. Its name itself is a little confusing and it's a misnomer because although it was first isolated in monkeys, rodents are the primary carriers for this virus. So monkeys do not carry the virus, despite the fact that it's called monkeypox. And actually they're thinking of changing the name to avoid confusion with this disease. There are actually two different strains of the monkeypox virus. One is from Central Africa and one is from West Africa. Luckily, it's the strain from West Africa that's more mild that has come to the United States. So the one, all the cases that you're seeing in the United States are from the West African strain, which is more mild than the Central African strain. And the disease itself or the virus is actually even more mild than smallpox. So we all may remember smallpox from the 60s or the 70s. This is more mild. It's a more mild disease than the smallpox virus. But what can you expect? It actually feels like the common cold or the common flu. You may have fever, you may have malaise, feeling tired, you have muscle aches, you may have a sore throat, you know, typical common symptoms of the flu or the cold. That's what you should most likely expect. Now you can get a rash. The rash resembles the rash that we see in chickenpox. So it's kind of a blister-like rash, usually starts on the face, may spread to the rest of the body, typically on the palms of the hands or the soles of the foot. Uh, in some cases, it can be around the genital areas if you acquire the disease through, uh, you know, intimacy. Uh, now, it's not a sexually transmitted disease, but you can get it from kissing and things like that. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, the rash is very important because the rash typically resolves in one or two weeks. And the symptoms of monkeypox will actually last for up to a month. But once the rash resolves, you're no longer contagious. When that rash has healed or it's crusted over, you cannot give the monkeypox to any other individual. And that rash usually resolves in about one to two weeks. All the symptoms like the fevers, malaise, muscle aches, rash should all disappear by two to four weeks. Now, how do you get it? You get it through contact with infected people. If there's a person that's infected and they have it, they can spread it to you through the rash, their bodily fluids or their respiratory droplets, right? Now it's not as contagious as the coronavirus because COVID can spread literally through the air. You know, monkeypox can't spread that easily or spread that fast, which is why we have less cases of monkeypox compared to COVID. Monkeypox is not an STD. It's not a sexually transmitted disease, but of course you can get the disease through intimacy by kissing, through exchange of saliva. It's not clear if Monkeypox can be spread through vaginal or seminal fluids, but that's still being researched currently. But it's not to believed to be a sexually transmitted disease. There's a long incubation period for monkeypox, which means that it can take up to four to even 21 days to get symptoms after you've been exposed. So if you got the disease or you got were exposed to somebody with monkeypox, uh, you contracted the disease, it may take even up to three weeks before you show those symptoms of fever, malaise, rash, et cetera. Now, can it be treated? Absolutely, yes, of course it can be treated. There are antiviral medications that are out there that can help treat it. There's an actual vaccine that exists, but unfortunately it's in short supply. So only those who have been exposed to it are getting it. And even that is in short su supply. So many ways to treat it, but the bottom line is if you think that you've been exposed, please contact your local health department, go to your physician and seek the care that you need to, uh, to, to, to feel better. Now, there is some data. As of September 16th, there have been over 23,000 cases reported in the United States, which is about a third of all the global cases because there's up to about 60,000 or over 60,000 cases worldwide. In our state of Maryland, there's 609 cases that have already been reported of monkeypox. And even though there's only been a little bit over 20 deaths worldwide, the first death has actually been reported in the United States in Los Angeles County in California. So despite the fact this is mild and death is very rare, it has occurred. Uh, symptoms are very mild. That's the good news. And death is exceedingly rare. You know, this is nothing like the COVID 
where, you know, the spread was very fast and people were dying at a very fast rate. That's not what we're seeing here with monkeypox. Hope that was helpful and demystifying monkeypox. Tune in next week for other public health videos. Thank you so much for your attention.